All right, well, welcome back to Black Sound Outdoors. And today we are going to do a continuation from a previous video we did on uh, kind of a travel notebook or preparation of your travel notebook. And one of the items in that notebook that we discussed was a strip map and how to draw a sketch strip map. And in the video, I mentioned that this is something that you can certainly do online uh, using Google Maps. So this video is going to go over just some basics, some thoughts on this. Um, by no means is it conclusive or, um, you know, it's one way of doing it. And there might be other options and other suggestions. Uh, and I would love to hear from anyone in the comments about some things that they could do uh, that you could do for a strip map, or if there's even other programs or better programs available for making a strip map. So without going too much into detail on the strip map, because we talked about it in the previous video, uh, but just as a quick overview, uh, the strip map is, is essentially just a map in which you take segments out of a larger map um, and you are able to kind of follow through a strip or a series um, uh, to, to kind of connect, to get from one place to another. So if you're going down a long trail, uh, maybe you're, you're going down a river or uh, down a road, something that's long and uh, narrow, it just takes the information that you need that's pertinent. Uh, and so very similar to a strip map and, and can be considered a strip map as well, or something like a tourist map. And that's something that we talked about where it's, it's kind of a dumbed down or stripped down version, giving that tourist just the, the you know, here are the 10 points uh, that you need to see when you're visiting the city uh, or the attractions or whatever. Um, so similarly, and as an example, uh, here we have the Vegas Strip. Uh, which is just exact, pretty much exactly what I was uh, talking about in pre prepping a trip in creating a strip map. Uh, so you basic, and this is not a map that I made. I, I found someone had made this already online, um, but I thought it would be a great kind of example. Uh, so essentially, the strip here um, they highlighted the uh, the road itself, and then putting pins in in each one of the destinations. So the Imperial, uh, the Mirage. Uh, Treasure Island and so on and so forth. So then you could kind of um, use that as reference or for, and or for planning um, your your trip. Uh, now, what I like to do with Google Maps, and we'll talk a little bit more about this in uh, in another video, uh, is I like to create an itinerary. Um, Often it's a Word document, but you can do a template on the email. I send that to kind of my on-call person, a person who knows that I'm traveling, that's, you know, uh, kind of keeping tabs on what I'm doing, where I'm at. Um, and then I also send that email to myself so I can just pull up my phone and look at uh, my schedule. Uh, and then what I do is uh, I actually link uh, pictures and maps to that schedule of where I'm going to be. And so in this case of the strip map, this is perfect. So if I was, say, if I was visiting Las Vegas um, and the day that I was going to be hitting the strip, I could just put this map link uh, right uh, in my itinerary and then I would just have my travel already ready to go. So certainly this is just something, a suggestion that one could use. Now, the theme and, and kind of the topic of the previous video was more non-permissive environments. Um, so I thought it would be kind of fun just to make a fictitious map of a fictitious situation um, and kind of show what what you could do uh, with with the strip map, um, what kind of more information you could put in there uh, to be helpful for different situations. So in this scenario here, um, we are going to be looking at a foot travel situation um, instead of uh, driving. Uh, and we're going to go from point A to point B. And certainly this is a map that we could print out and give to people. And this is kind of what we were talking about before, is that if you have multiple people and you don't have enough maps, you can make a strip map so that you can hand them out. Um, from a security perspective, um, operation security perspective, uh, a strip map is nice because it kind of strips down information and only gives you pertinent information so that that map goes into the wrong hands, uh, is lost, whatever. 
then um, then then uh, that information doesn't come out. Now, when we're trying to tie in some of this um, uh, conversation about not non permissive environment um, scenarios, in the previous video I talked about, you, you can take these things, you can apply them to more kind of domestic or common things. So sometimes what we try to do is we learn skills um, that could be applied into everyday life. So even if you aren't a traveler going to wild and crazy places, um, then uh, and doing in doing wild and crazy things, uh, you can still use these skills for other contexts. So for example, uh, if you were working with somebody who is a victim of domestic violence and they needed to get to a safe house, many communities have safe houses. Uh, for domestic violence, uh, those community, those safe houses are often a secret, obviously, to keep uh, the women and, and children in those shelters safe. Um, and so if you had to communicate with somebody where to go to a shelter, a strip map could be potentially a good thing to prepare for someone or show someone how to prepare in case they needed to leave their home or their work um, in an emergency, uh, rely on that strip map. So all of these contacts we can talk about. Um, this could be also for kids. Uh, you have some kids uh, and uh, you want to make sure that they're safe and they uh, something bad happens at home. The parents aren't around. They can provide a strip map to their child uh, so they know where to go to get to a rally point or a safe place, a neighbor's house, so on and so forth. So with a little creativity and little context, you can kind of take some of these contacts, these, these concepts and apply them to things. And in this case here, just for fun, I pulled up a map of Sri Lanka in the heart of uh, Sri Lanka outside of Kandy. Um, we are going to take a, a, a stroll uh, and go from one hotel to the other hotel. Um, this journey is of roughly 20 miles. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hotel um, that I'm starting at. Um, and that is going to be our starting point, our SP, as you can see here. Um, and then we'll have, in, and then our release point, uh, RP, uh, or end point if you want. Um, then in between, I have some significant markers or control points in between there uh, that, you, that the traveler can use for reference. Um, and in this case here, control point one, we're using a pro word or code name, Mars Bar. So the starting point is Butterfingers, and our release point is Milky Way. Control point two and three are three musketeers and Snickers. So again, we're, what we're trying to do is using some kind of theme. This could be alcohol, doesn't have to be candy, it could be whatever you want. Um, that, you know, um, precious diamonds, mountain names, um, names of, uh, of uh, uh, train stations in your area, whatever. It doesn't matter, it just has to be, it, it should be thematic. And then you can use those pro words. So if you needed to communicate to somebody, hey, I'd really like a Milky Way today, that could be essentially a pro word or code uh, to head to that particular safe house. Uh, so um, in this particular, in this strip map here, uh, when we start our, at our, our starting point uh, right here, um, we are going to uh, oops, Mars Bar. Um, Three Musketeers. Snickers, as you can see, and, and then Milky Way, our control point. And what I did was I included, when you click on there, uh, a picture of the, of the outside of that hotel or safe house or whatever it is, so that when you get to that location, you know uh, this is what you're going to be looking for. Now, certainly because this is Google Maps and you have Google Directions, you have um, um, all of the kind of tools at your disposal for Google Maps. You can change the layers, um, the satellite view. Um, you can go to terrain view, so you can kind of get the relief or the uh, bit of the topography of the area. So you kind of, when you're looking at this, you'll be able to change um, the the base map so you kind of have a better idea. Certainly I, I like um, 
I like to just go very, very simple um, and, and keep it uh, keep it kind of clean. Um, but again, because we're on foot travel, that topography might be helpful so that people can see, oh, okay, we're going up uh, way north and then we're going to go south. And as we're doing that, we can see that there's a mountainous area that we're going to be going around this big hill or mountain. Um, and then along the way, because it's Google, we can also take a look and see um, ahead, of, ahead of ourselves to see what different areas might look like. So, for example, here we'll just drop our guy right um, on the road, and you'll be able to kind of take a look and see ahead of you uh, what what you're looking for, so you know that you're on um, on the right path or not. Uh, so that is. Pretty much, it's pretty straightforward um, in terms of making um, how to make the map. Um, there's not a lot of uh, technical things other than putting pins in. So um, if you wanted to add another control point, you know, you can certainly you can add to your control points. You can subtract to them. Um, you know, you can do a lot with it. You can set it up. Uh, certainly to print. Uh, you can email just sections, copying and pasting uh, the map uh, as well. So it kind of gives you obviously lots of options, which is and could be potentially faster um, than actually doing this by hand um, as well, or a little faster and or a little cleaner depending on your accuracy. Um, so that's just pretty much the kind of the overview of a strip map. A uh, very, very simple um, example. Uh, now, what you could do is you can take that and put it into a, um, uh, uh, a template, and I can make this template available for anyone that is interested online. Uh, as you can see, I've taken the journey and separated out. Um, so, you have an overview at the very top. This is the entire route, the whole 20 miles, with our control points roughly, I think, like three, um, um, so many miles in between. I forget what I, how many miles it was. Actually, I can tell you because I have a key down here. Um, so from the starting point to control point one is 3.1 kilometers, uh, and then 3.6, and then I have the total. So just as I talked about in the previous video, having a legend and your um, mileage is very helpful. That north arrow put on there because it's not on Google Maps. Um, and since you are cutting and pasting and things are turned, could potentially be turned or moved, it's good to have that reference. So my entire route is outlined uh, by just taking out the sections of this. And again, you could, you could cut out each section if you wanted. Uh, we did a video on tissue maps. You can make a tissue map out of this, uh, printing it out on tissue um, or any other, you know, or waterproof fabric or the waterproof uh, paper as well, map paper, certainly, uh, or even laminate it. Um, and so essentially you have kind of that map to follow. Uh, now, the last page is what I think is, is, is pretty helpful. Um, even if you're not on a route, um, this is kind of an overview map of safe house. And so if, if again, to use that domestic violence example, um, you could, you know, create a, a, uh, profile, um, of your, of a, a safe house or a residence or a home or wherever and, and have this as a sheet that you can give to people so they have an understanding of their surroundings. Um, so what I have at top here, obviously, is the aerial view of the wider area, uh, zooming in ar around the house. So again, if you need to talk about sectors or um, places, places to meet, um, you know, places to go, or areas to be concerned about, that type of thing, you have a map that you can then point directly to so that everybody is totally clear on what you're talking about. So if you said, for example, we're going to be meeting across the street on the west side of Safe House, um, then you could actually point to that place um, of where they would need 
need to be. Uh, so we have then the uh, just kind of a, a basic map. We have the aerial photography uh, or the, the satellite photography. If you have aerial photography, that is also helpful uh, as well. Again, we have the front of that safe house. So once you get to that location, uh, you know what you're looking for. Uh, and then I included the GPS, the uh, longitude and latitude uh, in there as well. Um, so then that way, if you wanted to plug that into a GPS or if you wanted to confirm a location on Google Maps, you could certainly do that. Now you have to think about if you're traveling, if you're in a situation in which you can't have your cell phone on, you're going to need to have either a paper map or a handheld GPS device to help you with navigation. Uh, that navigation device may or may not be, it may or may not be helpful for that device to be preloaded with locations, particularly a safe house. So in that case, then this is where having that longitude and latitude on a separate uh, entity could be helpful. You could even put a, put this into a code if you wanted to, or you could write this out with uh, kind of UV ink. So you'd shine on that paper uh, with a UV pen and it would reveal then the uh, coordinates. So there's a lot of different things you could do with this to help increase security. Uh, certainly if this was just kind of a family action plan or a business plan or something for someone's safety or, 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 or travel or whatever, uh, you know, you, you may not have to worry about the operation security as much. Um, so pretty, very, very easy to make, uh, very easy to replicate. Uh, again, I can make available to this. Uh, this would be available um, for those that are interested um, on our Patreon page. You can check that out. Uh, we have a, a series on non-permissive environment travel. Uh, so we kind of had an intro a little bit ago. Um, and then very soon, within the next couple of weeks or so, we'll have a, uh, we're talking about uh, escape and evacuation. Um, and uh, kind of when to evacuate, what you need to do. And the, another part of that series is going to be how to travel on a convoy. Um, and then we'll be ending the series in um, uh, what to do if there's a medical emergency while you're on your uh, evacuation route. Uh, and then we also talk about alternative means of evacuation. So your car breaks down while you're going from point A to point B, and you need to rely on another mode of transportation, including feet, how to do that. So it's a, a, a longer series. So for people that are interested in this, this is kind of, these videos are kind of helping to illustrate some of the points that we're talking about in that series. Uh, stay tuned. I am going to post another video just like this, talking about what we call an operations map. So if you're into the mapping stuff, uh, we'll have it's going to be a, a two for one deal tonight uh, or today <laughs> posting uh, videos. Remember to like and subscribe and throw in some comments or suggestions or ideas that you think that would make these maps uh, better or more beneficial or more interesting or uh, helpful. Thanks again.